Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Raz. I'm a personal trainer. And just like many of you, I spend a lot of time in my home these days. And I decided to put together some workouts uh, in order to maintain some sort of a healthy routine going and frankly maintain my sanity. And just a second, I'm gonna give you guys the uh, grand tour of my uh, in-home personal training studio. And I want you guys to uh, meet my workout body. Today we're going to do a leg workout. Uh, you're going to burn a lot of calories because you are training half of your body and the biggest muscles uh, uh, in your body. And uh, the next video, I'm going to give you guys an upper body workout. And this is going to be basically your training split for the week. Legs one day, then the next day you can do cardio, then you can do an upper body workout, then the next day cardio again and just repeat the cycle. So uh, let's get down to business. Let's do this thing. So first, let me give you guys the grand tour of my uh, in-home personal training studio that I managed to create in my uh, living room, just some open space, some aerobic steps, uh, stability ball, uh, I have dumbbells, a mat, some bands, and the TRX, and also I want you guys to meet my uh, little friend and workout buddy, his name is uh, Figaro, and uh, let's, uh, let's do a leg workout today, okay? What do you say about it? Yeah, that's cool with you? All right, let's, <laughs> let's do this. All right, so before we start the workout, you always want to warm up a little bit with uh, what I call a dynamic stretch. You're going to basically look all the way up into the ceiling and down and then to your right and then to your left and then just sideways a little bit. You want to rotate your wrists and then just change direction. You're going to shake them a little bit. And then you're going to move your arms up and down. You can do 10 repetitions like that. It's going to warm up your shoulder joint. Now you can reach in front of you. Just rotate the arms right here in front of you. You can do about 5, 6 repetitions. And then just change right there. Right there. There we go. Now, you're going to basically clap your hands, okay, just like that, about 10 of these. And up next, we're going to do a torso rotation. This is going to warm up your whole midsection and the, um, the lower back. Again, you can do about 10 repetitions. Now you can reach down a little bit, okay, something like this. This is going to warm up the hamstrings a little bit and the lower back. Now you can do some, uh, some semi-squats right there. There we go. And you can do a few full range of motion squats right there. So once you have your thighs parallel to the floor, you're good to go. You don't have to go all the way down. Now we're going to add some boxing moves into this warm up. You do some side to side slips. It's like grabbing something from the side, yeah? There we go, right there. Pop, 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 pop. We're going to do some side to side steps. Just glide with it, okay? Picture yourself dancing somewhere. There we go, something like that. Here we go, okay? Now we're going to switch. We're going to do some, uh, some front kicks. One. And two, and three, and you're gonna change one, and two, and three. Now we're gonna add some uh, knee kicks into the mix. One, two, three, and one, and two, and three. We're gonna do some kickbacks. One, and two, and three, and again, one, and two, and three. You can do a little footwork in here, okay? There we go. We're gonna add some um, some straight shots, okay? Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try to use your hips too when you throw these shots. A little more footwork, and we're gonna do ten powerful jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, 
nine, ten. There we go. Now we're going to tag the workout. Before we do that, I uh, highly recommend you to stretch on the uh, stability ball. So right here, you're going to be on your back. There we go. Bring your hands all the way in the back and then sideways a little bit. And then you can rotate from your hips. And then you can also stretch on your midsection. Yeah. There we go. This is going to loosen up your, your low back. And now we can actually attack the workout. Okay, so first exercise of the day is going to be the world famous squats, also known as the king of all exercises. You're going to be right here, take a wide stance, I would say slightly wider than uh, your shoulder width. And then you're going to go all the way down until your thighs are parallel to the floor. And one. When you go down, I want you to inhale. <sighs> Exhale when you're coming up. Yeah? 10, 12 repetitions. Three and four and five and six. All the way up to, again, 10, 12 repetitions. Even 15, this is your warm up set. Now, after the warm up set, you're going to grab uh, some dumbbells and you're going to do the same exercise with some extra weight, okay? It doesn't really matter how you hold the weights as long as you're comfortable. You can hold the weights this way and then maintain the same form all the way down. Keep your back straight. Do not bend your back when you're coming down into that squat. You can hold the weights up too. There we go. Just resting on your shoulders. And then another way to hold these weights that I like a lot is just having the, uh, the weight resting on my upper chest. Okay, so you're going to be here, wide stance again, focus on the breathing, inhale when you're going down, and exhale when you're coming up. All the way down, and exhale. 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 This is rep number four. All the way down, and exhale. This is five. Six, seven, eight. I'm going to do some more because I feel good today. Nine. There we go. Boom. Ten repetitions. Okay, this is your first exercise. And I want you to do three sets of ten repetitions each. Okay? You can take 40 seconds, 45 seconds in between sets to recover. Okay? You know you recovered when uh, your heartbeat comes back to normal. Give me a second here to uh, <laughs> recover as well. Sip on this uh, Gatorade. Zero, less sugar. <clears throat> okay, great. So now, after you finish the squats, the next exercise I want you to do um, is stationary lunges. Uh, stationary means... Um, you're not going anywhere basically. So you're going to take a wide stance and I want you to come straight down. There we go. You're going to go straight down basically like an elevator going down. Okay. One and up. One and up. One and up. One and up. And then after you do eight repetitions, you're going to shake your legs a little bit. And you're going to change your stance, right? You're going to be here. There we go. Same technique when you're breathing. You're going to inhale going down, exhale coming up. So go down all the way. One. There we go. Pay attention to your form. Make sure your back is nice and straight. Midsection nice and tight. Don't lunge forward when you do that. Again, if it's too difficult for you to keep your balance, just go halfway. There we go. And then try to go down. A little more as you're making progress. There we go. Right there. Fantastic exercise. Um, you work on your balance and you get to work on your hamstrings as well. So now, if this is your warm up set, we're going to add some weight to it, right? So I'm going to grab these two weights and do one uh, set. This is my first official set of uh, stationary lunges. 
Wide stance again. And one. Here we go. And two. Here we go. And three. Here we go. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And we're going to change now. Shake your legs a little bit. Change the stance all the way down. There we go. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. All the way down. There we go. You're going to shake your legs. So this is your second exercise. You're going to do... Uh, four sets total, including the warm up. So you can do the warm up with your own body weight, and then the three official sets with the uh, dumbbells. You're gonna shake your legs a little bit, <clears throat> and now we're gonna work on balance. Okay, you're gonna need <clears throat> the steps. Fantastic exercise of balance, uh, and also at one point. This is going to be good, a uh, aerobic exercise, okay? So you basically, you're going to step up. Now the right foot is going to stay on the step. And then you only step up and down with the left foot only. And one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, change, okay, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and you're going to step down, you can add one more element of difficulty to this exercise by um, uh, making it more challenging to keep for you to keep it balanced. So you're gonna be here, step up, and you're gonna bring the knee up in a knee kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're gonna change right here. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. You're going to shake your legs a little bit, and we're going to superset. We're going to add one more exercise to the step up, and I highly recommend you doing <clears throat> the jump squat. You're going to be here. You semi-squat halfway, and you jump straight up. You go down, and you jump. You go down, semi-squat again, and jump straight up. You go down, semi-squat, and jump straight up. You go down again, and a nice jump. And again, two more. Jump, and here we go, okay? So this is a powerful uh, combo of exercises, the step up, Along with the jump squats, you're going to burn a lot of calories, okay? It becomes an aerobic exercise, and you're going to bring that heart rate all the way up. Take a little uh, <clears throat> more time to recover in between these sets, okay? Make sure you stay hydrated. Let's have a little uh, water. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, great. So now we're going to move into the next exercise. I'm just going to move this, these steps. And what I want you to do is calf raises, okay? So you're going to be right here and bring those calves all the way up. One, two, just warm it up, all the way up. Raise those heels as high as you can. Okay, five and six and seven and eight, and nine, and 10, two more. Raise those heels all the way up, hold that for a sec, come down nice and slow. Raise those heels all the way up, 
hold and they're nice and slow. Now, what you can do is you can take the uh, the top of the steps right there and uh, just step step on that step. <clears throat> And again, you're going to bring the heels all the way down. Let the muscles stretch a little bit. And then raise the heels all the way up and hold it for a sec. And again, down and hold. And then up and hold. And you're going to do three sets of 12 repetitions. You can do this exercise on the stairs. If you have stairs in your house or your condo. And you can also switch. Um, if it's too easy, you can switch to single uh, calf raises right here, okay? But the starters, let's stay with um, both feet on, uh, on, the, on the floor step or stair. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix the uh, calf raises with, um, with the side steps, okay? This is another powerful combo because at one point it's going to become an aerobic exercise um, and uh, you're going to engage all the muscles in your legs um, and you're going to give your hips a pretty good workout as well. And you're going to be in here. So what I want you to do is, this is your starting point. Okay, you're going to start off with a wide stance, okay, and then you're going to basically... <clears throat> Take a, a side step, you're gonna hold that position and then follow with a short step, okay? Again, deep side step, okay? You can do a bit of a semi squat with it too, and then follow, okay, with a short step. And the reason you do that is because if you go all the way, you're gonna lose the tension, okay, uh, in the bands, okay? You're gonna lose that tension and you're gonna lose the tension in the muscle as well. So, one more time, just to recap, okay? You're going to do a deep side step and hold and follow with a short step. And deep and hold and a short step. And deep and hold and a short step. And deep and hold and a short step. We're going to change direction. Okay, so one and two and three and four. And then we're going to switch again. Okay, again, one and two and three and four, and we're gonna change again. So you basically wanna have eight steps in each direction, right? And again, one, and two, and three, and four. So now we're gonna to top it off with some jumps, okay? So imagine doing jumping jacks with these bands around your ankles. You're gonna start off in a <clears throat> wide stance, now, you don't jump all the way because, again, you're going to lose the tension in the bands. You're going to do a small jump, okay? So, from this being your starting point, this is your range of motion. Very short. Okay, watch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can take a break. That was 20 repetitions. Okay, so real quick to recap this combo, okay, you did the calf raises, okay, three sets of uh, 10 to 12 reps, and then you added the side steps with the bands, okay, another three sets of eight reps each direction, and you're going to top that off, okay, with the jumps right there, 20 jumps. Per set, three sets. So you got the calf raises, <clears throat> um, you got the side steps, and you have the uh, the jumps to top off your workout. So just to recap the whole thing that we did, okay? You got dynamic stretch, okay? You got the stretch of the stability ball, <clears throat> you got the squats, four sets, you have the stationary lunges, four sets, the balance exercise on the steps with the, uh, when you step up, and then you're gonna combine that with, um, um, with the jumps, okay? The, uh, the jump squats, and you, you do three sets of each, and then you're gonna close the workout with 
the calf raises, the side steps, um, and the uh, and the jumps. Okay, just to recap the whole thing. Now I'm gonna top off the uh, the, the the workout and close it with a powerful exercise on the aerobic steps. Right there, this is gonna get your heart rate quite a boost. <clears throat> so you're gonna be here. You're going to start off with the right foot on top of the step, and then you're going to uh, do a side-to-side -side movement. One, and two, and three, and four. So you always want to make sure you keep one foot in the center of the step, and then you transition right there. One, and two, and three. You want to go for 20, 30 reps. Really give your heart a boost, and breathe. <laughs> Okay, you're going to go for 20 reps, and that's going to close your workout, okay? Very powerful, very crisp, okay? You guys feel free um, to ask questions uh, in the comment section below. You can uh, adjust the workout for your current level of fitness, okay? If you're a beginner, maybe start with two sets per exercise, and uh, don't worry about extra weight. Wait until you re recover in between sets. Uh, and then you can start again. <clears throat> so that was the workout for today. In the next video is going to be an upper body workout. And with that, you're going to have a bit of a training split. You're going to do legs one day, then cardio, then upper body, then cardio again. And then legs, basically, you're going to repeat the cycle. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, say hello uh, to uh, uh, Mr. Figaro in here, who was such a good sport today. <laughs> and uh, let's stay positive, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching.